Mr. President, I have some bad news. <gasps> what is it? It's very bad. Is it dire? Yes, it's very dire. Ea. What? You said diarrhea. No, I didn't. <laughs> Mr. President, there's an asteroid hurtling towards the Earth. Oh my. It's six times the size of Texas. Oh my god. It's three times the size of Mexico. Ay caramba. It's half the size of Rosie O'Donnell's farts. Dear Jesus. Mr. President, this is not the time to write a letter to the prophet. Sorry. What do you want us to do? I want you to get me the best damn astrophysicist there is. Okay. Mr. Tyson, your country needs you. There's an asteroid hurtling towards our planet. What do you suggest we do? Go up there and nuke it with everything we've got? No. No. Don't do that. Please. Why not? <sighs> Look. An asteroid that size, we don't even have enough nukes in the entire world to blow it up. So what you're saying is we need more nukes. No. No. <sighs> well, maybe we could get your cousin Mike Tyson to go up there and punch it right in the face. And bite off its ear. No, he's not even my cousin. What we should do is send a spaceship up there and get it next to the asteroid. When we do this, we can prevent the mutual gravitational pull between the asteroid and the spaceship using retro rockets to create a gravitational tether, or tractor beam, if you will. Mm. We can then essentially tow the asteroid out of its intended path and cause it to miss the Earth. It, and then we nuke it? No. No nuking. <sighs> Fine. Can we at least play some rock and roll? Don't you mean Barack and Roll? <gasps>